everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to share some brand new fragrances from Candles of Victoria with you guys. And they're actually not all that new anymore. They were brand new for the month of November, but I received them while I wasn't feeling very well. And then the day I actually got them, I had a really bad migraine on top of everything else. So I didn't want to smell anything like highly fragranced um, that would just like kind of make my migraine even worse. So I kind of set them aside and now I'm going to share the new fragrances with you. And I thought it would be the perfect time to do that because today is actually Victoria's birthday. So happy birthday, Victoria. Also, today in honor of her birthday, she is doing a scent shot sale. So all scent shots are $1.75 instead of the regular $2 price. So if you guys are looking to purchase a few new scent shots, today would be a great day, and it's just one day. So November 18th, 2014, $1.75 scent shots. So take advantage of that if you need to stock up or if there are a few fragrances that you wanted to try. But like I said, I have the new fragrances here. And I'm a little bit congested just because the weather has been super duper cold here lately. So hopefully I can get through these. If not, I have my little cheat sheet with the descriptions on here. So, oh, also before I get started with the new fragrances, one of my favorite ones, I just wanted to kind of throw this out here because I'm actually burning it right or melting it right now. Um, one of the new fragrances that she had for the month of October was giving thanks and it is my favorite of the ones she sent it's a really great fall scent great like i think just winter scent all around it's like a, a warm slightly spicy kind of sweet um, a little bakery a little kind of just all around great fall fragrance so if you're looking for for something like that definitely check that one out but anyway these are the new scents for the month of november and there are 10 brand new ones so yeah, let's get started. So the first one I have here is called Christmas Spruce. So I'm assuming this is going to smell like, like Christmas trees. And it does. This one's really nice. This one reminds me a lot of uh, Bath and Body Works winter scent, which Blake absolutely loves. We just got some new hand soaps in that scent. It reminds me a lot of that. It has that kind of like spicy, woodsy type scent, but it also has a slight kind of like citrus note as well. It's a really great scent. It's not like overly green either, so I like that a lot. This is a mix of sugared spruce, orange, and cinnamon. Really nice one. Definitely a very Christmassy scent. Um, the next one is called Santa's Whiskers, which is really cute. And this one is kind of a bakery scent. It definitely has a sweetness to it. I almost smell kind of like a cherry almondy type scent as well, so maybe like a cookie. But it also has kind of like a perfumey aspect to it as well. Let's see what the description says. It says top notes of vanilla, caramel, and cream. Middle note of buttery sugar cookie followed by a hint of sweet cinnamon. So I don't know where I'm getting like the perfumey aspect of it. But in my opinion, it's not like a straight up bakery scent, which I like. I don't like too too bakery type scents but this is a good one it's not overly sweet either next one is drunk elves <laughs> so i'm assuming this is going to be kind of i don't know i'm thinking eggnoggy but it's really sweet the first smell that i get is pretty darn sweet oh it smells like something it smells like butterscotch that's what it smells like or at least that sweet scent it definitely smells like butterscotch there is a, a hint of like a spice in here maybe either nutmeg or cinnamon. So this one is a mix of sweet eggnog, cinnamon, cream, and buttered rum. So I think that that's where I'm getting like the butterscotch scent. It's more of like a buttered rum smell. It smells really good. It smells like those kind, those like orange hard candies, but it definitely has a little bit more of a spice because there is that cinnamon in here as well. Um, so that is Drunk Elves. This one is Kris Kringle. I like this one. This one smells like like raspberries it's either raspberries or cranberries i don't know what's going on with my nose but this is a mix of holiday cookie and caramel candy kick for some reason i'm getting a berry scent this is really strange unless unless the berry scent i'm getting is kind of like a cherry which would be like an almond scent which is maybe in the cookie i don't know but for some reason, I'm smelling berries in here, and I like it. It's a good thing I have the descriptions on here, because obviously I'm kind of like all over the place here. But that's what I smell. So, the next one is Oh Holy Night. And this one definitely smells very cologne -y, kind of woodsy as well. 
kind of reminds me of like walking into a Lush store a little bit. So it definitely has like a cologne aspect to it, kind of like a Christmas tree type scent as well. Um, this is frankincense, cedar, sugar, spruce, pine, and sweet cinnamon. Next, I have Silent Night. Ooh, this one definitely has some mint in it, which I do do like. I love my minty scents. I really like this one. I think so far this is like one of my favorites just because there's peppermint in here. It smells kind of pepperminty. It has just a hint of sweetness, probably a little bit of vanilla in here, but it also has kind of like a Christmas tree aspect as well. Let's see what this one is. It says sweet peppermint, vanilla, buttery caramel, and a hint of pine. So I was pretty pretty on the spot with that one. That's pretty cool. I do love my minty fragrances. So that one was Silent Night and again, I love peppermint. That's like the Christmas scent for me. It's just, ugh, I love it. This one is Santa Baby. I forgot to tell you the name. This one definitely has a fruity scent to it. I don't like this one so much. There's, this is definitely not my favorite. There's something in here that I'm just, I'm not digging. Like at first sniff, it smells pretty good. Like I said, it smells kind of fruity, but then there's something else that's in there that kind of, to me, translates a little bit licorice-y. So I'm not really sure what's in here. Let's see. Um, Santa Baby. Top notes of baked apples with a cinnamon sugar strusel, or strudel. So I do like that. Like I said, it's kind of fruity, and I like that. And it says middle notes of sweet cranberry relish followed by a hint of piney spruce. Amazing. Okay, so I really don't know what's in here that I'm not really liking. Maybe it's just the combination. It's just not making my nose too happy. I normally love apple. I love cranberry scent and spruce is not my favorite but I do like it in a few scents but I guess mixed with the fruit it's not really my favorite unfortunately. Um, the next one I have is Mrs. Claus Kitchen. This one is definitely a berry scent and with the name I would I would think it's like a berry kind of bakery scent. All I'm really smelling is kind of just a bunch of fruit and berries. It's just really tangy. It's not too overly sweet. I wouldn't even say it's super bakery. To me anyway, on cold throw, it smells more fruity than bakery. Um, it is. It says top notes of pumpkin, pecans, and maple. Honestly, I can't smell that. Possibly when it's melting, um, th those scents will come out. And then it says middle notes of mulberry, cranberry, and spice yam. So I'm definitely smelling the cranberry and the mulberry. Maybe a little bit of the spice yams, but um, hopefully when that's melting, more of those pumpkin um, scents will come out. And I think that would be a really great combination. Um, this one is called Cowboy Christmas. Hmm, that one smells like, maybe like a Christmas barn. Does that make sense? Not that I've ever smelled like a barn in the Christmas time, but that's kind of what is coming to mind. I smell like wood and it's not like, I don't know, it smells like older wood, if that makes sense. Maybe a little bit of like pine or something. I don't know. It smells like a workshop to me, like, but a, a good one, I guess. <laughs> um, this one is, let's say, Cowboy Christmas. It says, My cowboy loves leather, rich leather top notes, followed by a hint of cedar and a citrus orange spice. So I, that's probably that kind of like weathered smell that I'm smelling is that leather scent. Um, it's really interesting, and then definitely there's like that woody scent in here too. The final scent I have here is Christmas Cranberry Cider, and the name alone makes me think I'm going to like this because I do like cranberries, and I do like her cider scent. And this one definitely has um, a cranberry scent to it for sure. It's kind of the main note in here, and then you do get a little bit of that apple spice but it's very light. I like it, but then there's something else in it that I'm not too sure about. It says rich top notes of spice and apple mold cider, middle notes of sweet cran apple and cranberries, bottom note juicy strawberry, and that's probably what I'm not digging. I'm not a fan of strawberry scents in candles and just fragrances in general. I love strawberries, like to eat them, but I don't really like the artificial strawberry scent. So it's probably, probably what I'm not super excited about but if you've tried any of Victoria's strawberry candles or strawberry scents um, and you like them I'm sure that you'll like this it's just for me it's not my favorite thing but yeah thank you again for watching happy birthday Victoria I hope you guys are doing well again take advantage of the scent shot sale that is going on today only November 18th and if you do want to place an order for anything else you can use the code CB Victoria for 10% off on your order so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you guys stay warm and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.